Hi, this is Lauren from Lauricopia. I've had several dreams about my father who uh, died about, it's been about nine years ago. Um, and he will come to me in my dreams and give me advice or support or whatever. It's very, very fascinating. So I tend to believe that we do go on after we die and that there is a spiritual dimension to us. Uh, my personal philosophy is that we live in more than one dimension at the same time and that the uh, spirit is captivated by the body and harnessed to it, but it exists separate. And when we die, it doesn't cease to exist. It continues in some form. But anyway, in this particular dream, it was the last dream I had of my father at, to date. I might have more dreams about my father in the future. But in this particular dream, the dream opens. We're in my bedroom, but the walls are not there. Uh, my bed does not have its headboard. I'm laying flat, um, looking up. And then I look up and over my shoulder, and uh, to my right are six men clothed in white, carrying a white gurney with my father on it. And my father is um, on his back with his head facing towards me so I can see the crown of his hair. I instantly know it's my father. Um, everything else in the dream is fairly dark, um, but they are illuminated by a light. And my father looks towards me like this from the gurney. He turns over, rolls on his stomach, and then his head kind of comes off the edge of the gurney and his skin starts to push back. And if you have ever seen a child being born, um, it looked like he was being shoved through a birth canal. It was the weirdest thing. And at this point, they're slowly stepping and they're carrying my father over the head of my headboard. I'm looking up on my back at my father face to face. And then the moment that his face passes me, he throws his hand out like this, both of them, and he grabs my outstretched hands. And I could feel my father. I could feel <clears throat> the warmth of the skin. And then the dream ended.